The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Herod the Tetrarch heard about the fame of Jesus, and he said to his servants, "This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why these powers are at work in him." For Herod had seized John and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John said to him, "It is not lawful for you to have her." And though he wanted to put him to death, he feared the people because they held him to be a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came. the daughter of herodias danced before the company and pleased herod so that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she might ask prompted by her mother she said give me the head of john the baptist here on a platter and the king was sorry but because of his oaths and his guests he commanded it to be given He sent and had John beheaded in the prison, and his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took the body and buried it, and they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear sisters, a very, very tragic story of the martyrdom of John the Baptist. Money, drinks, sex, jealousy. John the Baptist was a victim of all this. Why such a death? We often ask the question. The end is the headless body of John the Baptist is buried. so many months in the prison in all loneliness but all this has meaning only when we look at this scene with the events that took place on calvary jesus crucified jesus betrayed jesus mocked at jesus buried and ultimately there is resurrection we all are called to participate in the witness that john the baptist bore boldly he said what the king was doing was not right he was ready to suffer he was not willing to compromise with evil what a courageous person he is besides being known for his humility let us imitate john the baptist and the lord who rose again on the third day bore the best testimony to john the baptist there is no one greater than john the baptist more than this we should not be in any way in our conduct close to the other persons described in this incident herod always looking for human respect not only he was immoral but then just to please people he could even take away the lives of others herodias a terrible woman of jealousy wanting to take revenge because she was pointed out her mistakes and then herodias daughter being pawn in the hands of her mother when it is a question of conscience we should not obey anybody else may the lord give us the necessary strength to be just honest and also courageous in suffering for him and then today's first reading from the leviticus is about jubilee especially it is written in the context of establishing social justice 
giving to people what is their own, not exploiting others. May we give to God what belongs to God. May we be always known as just human beings, honest human beings. Mother Mary, who suffered silently, strengthen us to suffer and bear witness to her son. Amen.